Anias equation is a simple but remarkably accurate formula for the temperature dependence of reaction rates. The equation was proposed by Svante Anias in 1889, based on the work of Dutch chemist Jacobus Henricus van Tiehoff who had noted in 1884 that van Tiehoff's equation for the temperature dependence of equilibrium constants suggests such a formula for the rates of both forward and reverse reactions. Anias provided a physical justification and interpretation for the formula. Currently, it is best seen as an empirical relationship. It can be used to model the temperature variation of diffusion coefficients, population of crystal vacancies, creep rates, and many other thermally induced processes reactions. The Erring Equation, developed in 1935, also expresses the relationship between rate and energy. A historically useful generalization supported by Anias equation is that, for many common chemical reactions at room temperature, the reaction rate doubles for every 10 degrees Celsius increase in temperature. Equation Anias equation gives the dependence of the rate constant of a chemical reaction on the absolute temperature, whereas the pre exponential factor is the activation energy and is the universal gas constant. Alternatively, the equation may be expressed as the only difference is the energy units of, the former form uses energy per mole, which is common in chemistry, while the latter form uses energy per molecule directly, which is common in physics. The different units are accounted for in using either equals gas constant or the Boltzmann constant as the multiplier of temperature. The units of the pre-exponential factor are identical to those of the rate constant and will vary depending on the order of the reaction. If the reaction is first order it has the unit ZAR1, and for that reason it is often called the frequency factor or attempt frequency of the reaction. Most simply, is the number of collisions that result in a reaction per second, is the total number of collisions per second and is the probability that any given collision will result in a reaction. It can be seen that either increasing the temperature or decreasing the activation energy will result in an increase in rate of reaction. Given the small temperature range kinetic studies occur in, it is reasonable to approximate the activation energy as being independent of the temperature. Similarly, under a wide range of practical conditions, the weak temperature dependence of the pre-exponential factor is negligible compared to the temperature dependence of the factor. Except in the case of barrierless diffusion limited reactions, in which case the pre-exponential factor is dominant and is directly observable. Anias plot. Taking the natural logarithm of Anias equation yields. This is the same form as an equation for a straight line. So, when a reaction has a rate constant that obeys Anias equation, a plot of ln, k, versus ta1 gives a straight line, whose gradient and intercept can be used to determine a and a. This procedure has become so common in experimental chemical kinetics that practitioners have taken to using it to define the activation energy for a reaction. That is the activation energy is defined to be times the slope of a plot of ln, k, versus modified Anias equation. The modified Anias equation makes explicit the temperature dependence of the pre-exponential factor. If one allows arbitrary temperature dependence of the pre-factor, the Anias description becomes overcomplete, and the inverse problem becomes singular. The modified equation is usually of the form where TO is a reference temperature and allows N to be a unitless power. Clearly, the original Anias expression above corresponds to now equals zero. Fitted rate constants typically lie in the range minus one, N less than one. Theoretical analyses yield various predictions for N. It has been pointed out that it is not feasible to establish, on the basis of temperature studies of the rate constant, whether the predicted tar one half dependence of the pre exponential factor is observed experimentally. However, if additional evidence is available, from theory and or from experiment, there is no obstacle to incisive tests of the Anias law. Another common modification is the stretched exponential form, where i squared is a unitless number of order one. This is typically regarded as a fudge factor to make the model fit the data, but can have theoretical meaning, for example showing the presence of a range of activation energies or in special cases like the MOT variable range hopping. Theoretical interpretation of the equation, Anaya's concept of activation energy, 
Anias argued that for reactants to transform into products, they must first acquire a minimum amount of energy, called the activation energy A at an absolute temperature T. The fraction of molecules that have a kinetic energy greater than A can be calculated from statistical mechanics. The concept of activation energy explains the exponential nature of the relationship, and in one way or another, it is present in all kinetic theories. The calculations for reaction rate constants involve an energy averaging over a Maxwell Euro Boltzmann distribution with as low a bound and so are often of the type of incomplete gamma functions, which turn out to be proportional to collision theory. One example comes from the collision theory of chemical reactions, developed by Max Trotz and William Lewis in the years 1916-18. In this theory, molecules are supposed to react if they collide with a relative kinetic energy along their lines of center that exceeds A. This leads to an expression very similar to the Anias equation. Transition state theory Another Anias-like expression appears in the transition state theory of chemical reactions, formulated by Werner, Ehring, Polony and Evans in the 1930s. This takes various forms, but one of the most common is. Where is the Gibbs free energy of activation, is Boltzmann's constant, and is Planck's constant? At first sight this looks like an exponential multiplied by a factor that is linear in temperature. However, one must remember that free energy is itself a temperature-dependent quantity. The free energy of activation is the difference of an enthalpy term and an entropy term multiplied by the absolute temperature. When all of the details are worked out one ends up with an expression that again takes the form of an Anias exponential multiplied by a slowly varying function of T. The precise form of the temperature dependence depends upon the reaction, and can be calculated using formulas from statistical mechanics involving the partition functions of the reactants and of the activated complex. Limitations of the idea of Anias activation energy Both the Anias activation energy and the rate constant K are experimentally determined, and represent macroscopic reaction specific parameters that are not simply related to threshold energies and the success of individual collisions at the molecular level. Consider a particular collision between molecules A and B. The collision angle, the relative translational energy, the internal energy will all determine the chance that the collision will produce a product molecule AB. Macroscopic measurements of E and K are the result of many individual collisions with differing collision parameters. To probe reaction rates at molecular level, Experiments are conducted under near collisional conditions and the subject is often called molecular reaction dynamics. See also, accelerated aging, Ehring equation, Q10, Van T. Hoff equation, Clausewitz euro clapeyron relation, GIBBSA euro helmholtz equation, Cherry Blossom Front, predicted using the Anias equation, references. Bibliography, Law Idler, KJ Chemical Kinetics, 3rd edition, Harper and Rowe, Law Idler, K.J. The World of Physical Chemistry, Oxford University Press, External Links, Carbon Dioxide Solubility in Polyethylene, Using a Nice Equation for Calculating Species Solubility in Polymers, 